Hello, I'm Jerome de Henault, co-chair of DB125, You and Your Money. Hello, I'm John Quillo. I'm also co-chair of this module. I'm Alan Shipman, a member of the module team. In fact, we are just the tip of the iceberg. There is a whole team of people who work together to create DB125. And we hope you'll enjoy the results. You and Your Money is in part about just that, you and how you manage your money. So you'll be looking at issues like income, expenditure, debt and saving. You'll also look at housing issues, insurance and longer term planning for retirement. We're also using your money as a lens for introducing the discipline of economics. You'll see how economics is woven into the fabric of many of the ordinary decisions we all take every day and how household behavior impacts the wider economy. You'll use some of the tools and techniques of economics to start exploring these relationships. You'll explore how social and political factors shape our lives. We have to make the best financial decisions given the system we live in. But equally, as citizens and voters, we have choices that can influence the system. So an exciting part of DB125 is that we'll look at the UK in comparison with other systems across the world. We've interviewed households from six countries around the world, the UK, US, Germany, Sweden, India and Brazil. You'll hear the views and experiences of these households and be able to compare them with managing your money in the UK. In this module, there are a suite of calculators that you can use to solve practical questions about your own money. These include tools to help you budget, calculate the cost of debt, or how much to save to meet a particular objective, and to check how inflation affects the buying power of your money over time. We've divided you and your money into 10 topics, and there's a regular pattern of study. Two weeks are devoted to each topic. In the first week, you read a book chapter that introduces the main concepts. In the second week, you switch to the associated online unit that is mainly interactive. It's full of video, audio interviews, quizzes, and it's designed to practice and deepen your understanding. The online units are full of activities designed to build your study skills. Things like note-taking, working with numbers and writing effectively. We've also built in activities to develop your employability, by which we mean the skills, attitudes and behaviours that employers in particular are looking for, but which are useful in your personal life and any unpaid roles that you take on in your community. Throughout the module, you'll have the support of your own personal tutor to help you understand the topics, build your skills, and advise on any problems that arise. I'm Sharon Mapani Changula, a tutor in the Midlands region. Your tutor will be in touch with you early on the module to break the ice, get to know a little bit more about you and what you want to get out of the module, and find out any concerns that you may have. We then work with you partially through face-to-face -face day schools, online tutorials, and online forums, where you actually get to meet with tutors and fellow students. Your tutor is also the person that marks and gives you personal feedback on your assignment. DB125 has four assignments. There are three TMAs, tutor-marked assignments, marked by your own tutor, and covering the topics you've just studied. At the end, there is an EMA, end of module assessment, which is very similar, except that it looks back at the whole module and is marked by another tutor. Your overall mark for the module is the average of your scores across all four assignments. Hello, I'm Sam and I'm a student with The Open University. The main challenge that I find studying with The Open University is working your studying time around the rest of your life. How I overcome this challenge was to organise my TMAs and EMA deadlines in my calendar and also to follow the study planner which is provided by your module website. Don't worry if you come into any problems because your student support and tutors are there to help you all along the way. I've been working very closely with the module team for DB125 reviewing the new chapters and online units to give a student's perspective. I believe DB125 to be thoroughly enjoyable and very practical unit to study. It educates you with real world knowledge and your personal finances will definitely improve throughout the course. Get organised, that's great advice from Sam. 
My tip would be make the most of your tutor. They're there to support you all the way through this module. I'd recommend that you always try out the activities and quizzes in the chapters and online. It's only when you try to answer a question that you really understand what you've already learnt and what you still need to practice. From the whole DB125 team, good luck with your studies and enjoy the module.